Hello and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be using my ultrasonic cleaner to clean the carburetors off my little beater so I thought I'd make a video and show you how I do that. Now this is far from an essential bit of workshop equipment but you find that once you've got one <laughs> there's loads of uses you can put it to so mine actually ended up getting used a lot to the extent that I actually now own two I've got two as you can see here I've got them both out just to show you so this is a small one I think this is three litres I'm going to take the lid off oh, power cords in there but a little basket, little basket in there put my hand in you can see so that's perfect for just doing small parts individual carburetors things like that but if you want to do bigger parts it's useful having a, a bigger one so this is I think this one is 30 litres or something you can get huge parts in here um, uh, you can, including you can get a full bank of carburetors in there without disassembling them so if you've got a four cylinder bike and you want to do those carburetors you can just drop them in here but of course uh, a big one like this takes a, a lot of uh, liquid and so it's just not economic for, for doing small parts so we're going to use the small one today this is my little beta trials bike and sadly it's just been sat over the winter I've not ridden it for oh, probably about three months now and um, took it out for the first time yesterday ran fine for about an hour and then it start, the carburetor started bogging down a bit and it got worse and worse until it packed in altogether so what I suspect has happened is that with it being stuck for so long there's gunge in the carburetor and that's blocked up the jets so I am going to whip the carburetor off and uh, pull it apart stick it in the ultrasonic cleaner before I um, take the carburetor off I always like to just uh, make a note of the screw settings because it was set up fine um, so I want to set it up again exactly as it was before so uh, this, uh, I'm just kind of recording this as much for my benefit as for yours. I'm just going to screw them in and see how far they go. So that's half a turn, one turn, one and a half, two, two and a half turns. So I'll turn that back again. Half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half. And then the screw down here. So that's half a turn, one turn, one and a half, two, just slightly over two, about two and an eighth. So again, I'll back out again. So half, one, one and a half, two. Right, so I've got a note of where they were before I start dismantling it all and disturbing it. Just undo the Jubilee clips on the, the manifolds, get to both of those there. Loosen those off and also remove the fuel pipe. So this is the pipe that comes down from the fuel tap, which of course is off. Just a little bit dripping out there. Now there's a little fuel filter on the line there so I took that fuel pipe out of the way this is the breather pipe down there just pull that one off and again took that down out of the way right see if I can uh, get this out of the manifold now yeah the carburetor out so just to, need to disconnect the throttle cable now top of the carburetor on this model is held on with a couple of allen keys so just loosen both of those off Right, there we are. So I'm going to take the slide and clean the slide and the 
the, the needle and everything. Okay, I'm going to take this into the workshop now. Take it apart and then I can drop it in the ultrasonic cleaner. Before I start stripping my carburetor down, I'm just going to prime the um, ultrasonic cleaner and get it ready. So people use all sorts of different things in these clean, but I've actually got some proprietary carburetor cleaner here. In actual fact, it's not that expensive, so you might as well buy the proper stuff. And you dilute this um, one part of the cleaner to 10 parts of water. And then the ultrasonic cleaner, I usually use it about 60, 65 degrees temperature. So if I get the cleaner and the water in here, then um, it can be warming up whilst I strip down the carburetor. I've just heated some water up in the kettle to give it a head start. Speeds up the process. Right, I'll switch that on. Then I'll set the temperature. Right, set it for 60 degrees, switch that on, pop the lid on. You can see, because I want some water, it's already at 39 degrees, it's going at 40 degrees. So uh, that should warm up fairly quickly. So let's strip the carburetor down now. So here's the carburetor off the beater. I'll take the bowl off. That's a 14 mil nut at the bottom. Just undo that. See that's got uh, jets in it, so that needs to go in. That's my float. And uh, I'll take these out. Remember, I measured the location of them before. So I want the fluid in the ultrasonic cleaner to get through as many passages as possible to really give it a good clean out. Is when you put it in an ultrasonic cleaner it should get through all of these jets and clean them but once I've um, once I've put them through the cleaner I'll blow them all out with airlines just to make sure they're clear Just trying to look through there, see if you can actually see through it. Difficult to tell. I'll check in a moment. Right, I think um, that that um, float level valve, I'll, I'll try and take that out as well and then I can clean that up as well. Need a pair of pliers just to grip on that and pull it out. Right, I've got some pliers here, just pull that out. And that's the, uh, the plunger sealing off the bolt. Might as well take that one out and then I've got it all apart. Right, so this one's 9mm. Odd sizes, these, but oh, that's got it. That's the way it is. Right, so that's that one out. 
um, yeah, I think I'll remove this uh, choke plunger as well. And um, then I've got it all stripped down. So, a bit of a fiddly mechanism, this one. First thing is you do, got to get this circlip off here without oh, yeah, it yeah, flying yeah. across the room. And then undo this screw. Oops. Let's screw on the top here. And if we wiggle the lever off, the whole plunger mechanism comes out. So that's the, the plunger. There's a little spring on there as well. You just got to watch out for. That's the spring that just kind of works the, the spring on the, the lever. Right, so that's it all apart. Ready to go in the cleaner. Right, my cleaner's nearly up to temperature. You can see on the gauge it's up to 58 degrees. So I think I'm going to start. Uh, once you set the, the cleaner running, it actually, uh, the, the action of it running increases the temperature so it will shoot up above 60 degrees. So all these small bits I've got, I found the best way to, to uh, clean them is, so you don't lose track of them, is to put them into a, uh, an old uh, glass jar, jam jar. The ultrasonic action works absolutely fine through the glass. So I'm going to just uh, scoop some of the cleaning fluid into this jar and then drop all of the all of these small bits that I've taken off the carburetor into here and that, that way they're all contained within the jar and I'm not going to lose any of them so all the various jets are going in there And I don't think I need to, that's the little circlet that came off the uh, the choke lever. I don't think I need to put that in, put that on one side. And then the actual carburetor body itself and the, the bowl. Though actually if you have the bottom of the bowl that's quite clean. But the whole, the whole lot is going in here like this and uh, wiggle it around so I can get it in. It'll fit in. That's it. And then I'm going to set it going. So um, do the timer 10 minutes first. And this is the fun bit, uh, seeing the, uh, the results of the cleaning. So I'm going to put this on for 10 minutes and then go and put the kettle on and make myself a nice cup of tea whilst it's cleaning. So that's at uh, 10 minutes now, so um, I'll probably give it another 10 minutes or so, but um, let's take the, the jar out, have a look at that. You can see it's starting to get cloudy, so that's all the dirt that's uh, coming off it. But the, um, the, the carburetor body, um, the outside of it, I'm just going to give it a, a bit of a brush with this uh, toothbrush and it just kind of loosens up the uh, dirt. Um, on the outside, obviously it's the inside that I'm primarily trying to clean, but uh, cleans the outside at the same time. So, just going to pop some rubber gloves on and, and uh, brush the outside of that with this uh, old toothbrush. It cleans up your toothbrush nicely as well, but makes it taste a bit funny. Right, that's it all back in, give it another 10 minutes.
Right, so that's finished again. So it's had two lots of 10 minutes, total of 20 minutes. I think that should be enough. So what I'm going to do now is lift all the parts out, um, put them in this bowl. And I'm going to um, rinse them all very thoroughly in clean water. Um, and then I will um, blow all the lines out with my airline, all the holes out, passages with my airline. Now the, the water in it is actually not too dirty at all, so you can use this again, you can save it and, and use it again. I haven't got any immediate plans for doing anything else, so I don't know. I might keep it or I might just uh, throw it. We'll see. Right, it's carburetor reassembly time. So, got a freshly brewed mug of tea there, but more importantly, blindfold on, stopwatch started, let's go. Job done. Time to get out and play again. Thanks for watching. See you next time.